Here we go again. Hey, it's Sean here. Um, Bex is trying to cook up a trace of some kind. Hoping to find out where this raw data is coming from. It's not in Eivor's DNA, is it? Can't be. Feels too deliberate. Like someone wants you to see it. Any progress? Nothing yet. Whoever put these here made a surgical incision into our server. They dumped this data and backed out before anyone noticed. Oddly enough, that's how Rebecca describes our wedding night. Which I find rude. Hasting, get off the mic. I got the data. Sending it now.
Be my eyes, Sunan. You two again. Bent over the barrel of another adventure, I see. This is his fault. I told him they looked like bandits, but he insisted on cheating them out of coin. We need to leave. Some of them went to fetch firewood. They will be back any moment. There is no we in this. Your brother, your problem. What? No, please. Look at him. He is dead weight. Dead weight soon. You should hurry. If I have to carry him, we will never make it out of here alive. Please. Your brother is lucky I like you. There may not be much between your ears, but you are not the problem here. Thank you. This way. Think again, Saxon filth. There is no besting these sons of Ragnar. Soon the world will know us by name. A sleep talker. Just what I needed. See this? Do you see it? This blade was forged by Grundle. Grundle Thundersmith, greatest of all blacksmiths. One nick, and your life essence will shoot out of you like a gazer from the depths of Norway. You laugh. Am I a joke to you? Do I look like a jester? That is what I thought. You will think again before laughing behind my back. No one laughs at me. No one. Cast him aside when this is done. For your sake. Stay close to me. Your feet, the dogs! This is where we part ways. Yes. My... my thanks. Thank you. Stop thanking me, and listen closely. This life does not suit you. There are people out there who would kill you over these petty squabbles. This I have realized. If your idiot brother hatches another one of his glory-seeking plans, take your fist and slam it right between his eyes. Or better yet, punch him in his cock. He will listen. Punch his cock. Yes. That should get the point across. Thank you. Uh, you will never see us again. Good. What? 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 What is? Ah, we made away with the coin, didn't we? Poor fools never suspected us. But we're more clever than we look, eh? Where are you going, brother? You must tell the details of this great victory! <laughs> Those are the cries of a broken heart. Who died? My beloved K. 
cat, Sphinxy. And please do not be so crass. Sphinxy has simply passed on. She is in God's hands. Nothing hurts quite like a fresh wound. But in time, it will heal and life will return to normal. Oh, if only. Instead, I find myself missing her more and more with each passing winter. How long ago did Sphinxy pass on? Eleven years ago tomorrow. A long time, I know. A little. Have you thought about honoring Sphinxy with a shrine? It is no burial, but it may ease your grief. I am halfway there, but I cannot bring myself to sort through her things. I simply do not have the strength. I will help you. We will build Sphinxy a shrine together. Where should I start? My home. It's where she... She... <laughs> Something I can find in here for the cat's shrine. If I can sort through all the rubble. Just how many cats do you have? to the shrine. I have found some of Sphinxy's belongings. It is done. A shrine dedicated to Sphinxy. Whenever you care to pay your respects. And a home you can return to again. It may take some getting used to without Sphinxy. But her children need you. And here I thought all Danes were ruthless plunderers. Murderers! You have a soul that would grace the heavens. Light my Sphinxy. Lord, light your way.
It is not enough that you are dead weight. I have to listen to your babbling as well. I found him asleep beneath a tree. He is unharmed. My poor Bjarti. I'm so glad he's all right. You saved his life. Luck was with him. No hungry wolves or roaming bandits. The note he carries is helpful, but he must have more caution. He may not be so lucky the next time. You're right. I will wait until he wakes. And when he does, I will belt him. That is a start. Farewell. Say the name. Is it Hunwald or Hunwald? Be gone! This prisoner comes with me. Thanks for saving my neck, stranger. I pray I can return the favor someday. Happened. Were you bit? Oh, yes. Snake bit. Just like you. Attack! Brothers and sisters of the the very sword of this sacred land. No more. You're going back north where you belong. We will rid England of your kind for good. Me. Yes. You looking to set foot in there? I would not advise it. In my youth, I could. Both of us could. We would not think twice about taking back what is ours. You lived here? It was a fishing village once. Built it with our bare hands, all of it. But bandits drove us out the moment they saw how plentiful the waters were. The fish here are not shy, and they are difficult to sate. You make it hard to resist. I may have to see for myself. It will not be easy. Why not take my wife with you? Stickler would love to raise hell against these dogs. What would it serve? Only a matter of time before more roving bandits catch a whiff of this place. We know. Such is the case in all of Lincolnshire. But it would be a small victory. A chance to dip our feet for a while. All right, I'll take her. Always good to rekindle a flame. On me, Stickler. We will wet your blade with their bones. It is long overdue.
You're difficult to sate. I like it. with great passion, Stickler. Passion Stickler. did look effortless. Stickler is a stout fighter. Worthy enough to raid with the best Drengir. That may be what she is destined for. You honor her. And believe me, I have tried. But she is stubborn. Insists on looking after this old and frail hound. When you die, have her seek me out. <laughs> you jest, but I shall take you up on it. Until then.
Perhaps some rags left for the rats. The heart of stone, and the stench is ripe. You! How dare you! Crowland's throne belongs only to the one true king of briars. This throne of muck and manure? I suppose that makes you the Lord of Shitsby. How dare you insult the brave and valorous soldiers of... Of Shitsby, yes. I know your type. Insolent spirit! Kill this usurper! We will fight for this muddy kingdom! Please, please.